mentioned this like really quickly when I did my morning um, spiel, that for the past year or so, I've been collecting uh, information on public computer labs in this city. Uh, basically, uh, you know, resource centers that are open to the public where uh, people who don't have access to technology in their own homes have a place to go if they need to do research, write resumes, fill out job applications, benefits applications, um, whatever the situation might be. Um, and so I brought that um, idea here, and we worked um, first just to kind of take that initial data set that I had collected, which I did through just like surveying like every nonprofit organization that I know, um, and asking them um, about the resources they offer, and combining that with um, the free library locations, since all of them have public computers, um, as well as um, the new Freedom Bridge Partnership, uh, which is a city initiative that's trying to uh, build a number of new <coughs> centers all over the city. Um, so part of it was just kind of cleaning, sorting, aggregating all of that data. Um, and then wonderful Justin and Derek um, started to put um, together an app that. So this is really simple. Right now, uh, we're just throwing up the map points. Um, the goal is to give you some searching on the attributes that we have for each of the locations. So uh, there needs to be some filling in of the metadata on these locations as well, since the, the different sources have different uh, numbers of metadata. <coughs> um, an interesting place I'd like to take this data would be to find out uh, where the underserved areas of the city are. So where is it? Which would be once we have a bigger computer data set, actually looking at the hours that the places are open, how the rates are around the computers there are, comparing that with the uh, population data across the city. Justin, is this, I'm sorry, you may have mentioned this, but what are these? Are these the key spots? Are they libraries? So each of these, yeah, represents, it could be any of them. It could be a library, it could be a school, community yeah. center, whatever it might be. And you can see right now, because we are still working of kind of cleaning some of the data and stuff. Um, it's not, it doesn't look that pretty, but um, yeah, when you click on any of them, you're able to see where it is, what it is, um, and um, uh, we're also adding in information about the hours that they're open, the um, actual facilities, like the number of computers they have, their Mac or PCs, the type of software they have, um, all that sort of stuff. Um, and the idea is to be able to search on um, those kinds of parameters. So, uh we, uh, we used uh, what's the part of DB. So that, we spent a lot of time designing the schema. So the nice thing is that it has all the fields we might want to look for now, and it's a fairly simple matter of uh, adding parameters and building up the query to get the results. So it's in a good spot right now. Just needs a little bit of uh, a little bit of work. Yeah. And then some of the next steps from that, uh, you know, we all kind of recognize that inherent contradiction that, you know you shouldn't need a computer to get to a computer. Um, and so some of the other uh, th uh, places that we'd like to take this are to have uh, both a mobile app and a text messaging system so that you can find uh, places uh, just through either your smartphone, um, you know, based on GPS, or through a regular cell phone by sending a text. Where did you get the data set from? Um, so the data set, um, part of it came from, like I said, I just, <coughs> last year, I sent out this survey to basically every nonprofit organization I know, um, saying, hey, if you run a computer lab or you know someone who runs a computer lab, just fill out this form for us. Um, and then some of it was also um, scraped from um, the free library um, locations as well as um, the Creative Writings Partnership sites. Awesome. Yeah. Nice. All right. Nice. All right. Nice.